But you, so you didn't, so you were in a relationship that whole time. You haven't even been able, you didn't enjoy savage, savage, savagery, savagery. Not open savagery. Is that a word? Savagery? No, but I understand what you're saying. You see, you see what I'm we trying to do. We black and brown. We Thank get Thank you. Yeah. Um, you weren't able to do that open or like as a celebrity. No, I haven't experienced that. Because I don't even. Th- I, I'm not. I don't feel like I'm a celebrity, but I understand what you're saying. You are one. But I have. I not- saw you on the View in a vest. Okay, <laughs> but I, I have not experienced that. But I, I that. But I wouldn't want to experience that. Really? No what? way. Listen, I'm so surprised. God knows His children. There's no way I would be in this position and still be the loose, unstable individual I was. I, I talk about it in my book. My first firing. I feel like I got fired for abusing the platform that I was in. Because, you know, I the first time I ever saw my name on a marquee was at a club called The Nightlife in King Street, South Carolina. It was like, oh, Charlemagne the God. And it was like, this King Street is smaller than Monk's Corner. So if Monk's Corner is like 8,000, King Street's like 3,000. Right. So when I pulled up, they was on some like, oh, treating me like I'm somebody. Mind you, I'm just a guy making 19 grand a year in Charleston, South Carolina. Yeah. And this girl was like, yo, I said, what you doing tonight? She was like, I'm doing whatever Charlemagne the God tells me to do. So it's like, you took her back to... Monk's corner and like when I say she F the team, she F the team. Like five and six guys. And then I had her at a a remote on on, on that Monday night, a remote from a club. I was had guys charging fifty dollars to get oral from her. So it's like when I got fired from that station, Hot 989, I felt like it was directly because of that situation. I felt like was, God was saying, You you're totally out here wilding. You need to sit down, bitch, be humble. Yeah. And like you're you're misusing your platform. So I would never want to be on this level without having the spiritual foundation I have now and just the family, family. foundation I have now. Cause I, I'm a stern believer. Like me personally, when I'm, when I'm out here wilding, like doing things I don't got no business doing, like, you know, sleeping with other chicks or whatever, bad things happen in my life. Mm. Like just these little hiccups that you just know, like, yeah, cause you ain't right. Cause I'm not doing right. Ain't right. But when I'm, I'm f- like now like focused and I, I, I love my wife and I, my wife is all I want. And I'm a family man. And I'm holding it down. Like, Nothing but great things happen. Mm. So that's an easy trade for me. Like, because you, you, you're bringing all this energy into your life. Like, guys think we just out here having sex with different girls, but no, you're just bringing all this strange energy in your life, energy in your life, and it's affecting you, Earth. and it's affecting your household, and you don't even realize it. So it's just like, yo, when you cut all that off and you just focus on, you know, your wife and what's at home, like, you end up on the view in the vest. <laughs> <laughs> and you end up a New York Times bestseller. And, like, it, and it really suits you, man. Yeah. And if I haven't told you this yet, I'm like really proud of you. Thank you. That means a lot coming like, from Angie Martinez. On a, on a real, real, no, in a real way. No, that means a lot coming from you. Congratulations. That's like Michelle Obama calling me smart and funny. <laughs> I only heard funny. I didn't hear smart. <laughs> I, cannot, I cannot confirm. She definitely <laughs> said smart after the funny. What's up, Charlemagne the God, best author. Thank you author. for having me, Angie Martinez. Top bookie, play the record. Black privilege. You better not. <laughs>